Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. As always, hit that subscribe button as hard as you possibly can. Hit the thumbs up button as well. It helps out the algorithm with YouTube. And also, this is only my opinion, what I think could happen. Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section. And as always, let's jump right into it. Today, we're talking about Makwed Americani versus Jonathan Pierce. On the feet, I think this fight can be very, very weird. Neither one of them are like crisp or crazy punchers. Machman <clears throat> Americani does go for some flashy stuff. You know, Jonathan Pierce is definitely a um, try. He's like a bulldozer. Tries to get you know grind him out, clinch work, get him to the ground, work him a little bit, and get that submission. At least beat him up. But Miracani is incredible on the ground. I do think that's where he has an edge, as long as he doesn't gas out. That's been the big, big issue with Mark Juan, Mark Juan and Miracani. I mean, you know, he lost against Edson Barboza. I did think it was a pretty, pretty close fight. I didn't think it was like, oh, that's bad. But Shane Burgos. Okay, well, there's a Shane Burgos one. And it was, he got tired later in the fight, and Shane Burgos took over. And won the fight because of that. And then he beat Danny Henry. Yeah, Danny Henry. And a kind of choke. And then he lost to Yabba Pose, like I said. Camila Kirk was a very, very weird one. Some people thought uh, Amir Khani won. I thought it was close. But I actually had Kirk in the second and the third round winning that fight. And again, he kind of gassed after that first shot midway through the second. And then Leron, uh, Leron, Leron Murphy. Something like that. Yeah, it's Leron who's an unbelievable uh, talent, prospect, whatever you want to call it. Um, timed him with the knee, kind of he started fast, as he always does. Did the same thing in the second round, and <clears throat> Murphy timed a knee, was able to put him out. But then he got back on track against Mike Grundy, who kind of blitzed him, which is, as we're seeing, a bad, bad, bad idea. Danny Henry did it, got an anaconda choke. Uh, Mike Grundy did it, anaconda choke. So Jonathan Pierce has to be very, very careful with that. He needs to, his game plan, I'm sure, is wear uh, Mark Juan Americani down a little bit, get him to use a lot of energy because there's been a lot of fights that he's lost that is because later in the fight he doesn't have the gas tank to keep going. Hopefully he changes that in this fight, but again, let's talk about it. 17 wins, 7 losses for Americani. Two and three in his last five, one and three in his last four fights. He is 33, will be 34 in a little while. Uh, 5'10 with a 72 inch reach, half inch reach advantage from Americani, Mr. Finland. Jonathan Pierce, 12 wins, four losses. He's four in one's last five fights. His one loss is against Joe Lozon. He really, really got beat up in that fight, but doesn't really matter because he's won three since then. He got ground and pound against Kai Kamaka the third, who I, I'm a big, big uh, fan of Kai Kamaka. I just think there's a lot of promise there. Not in the UFC currently, but hopefully we'll get back there. Really beat up Omar Morales. Rooney could choke him and then beat Christian Rodriguez. And we did see Jonathan Pierce get beat up a little bit on the feet. So... I don't see a big thing like that happening in this fight because, again, neither one of their striking is great, but their ground game, that's where this fight is going to be so much fun. I have Mark Juan Americani uh, winning by submission. I do think he submits him. I think Pierce makes a big mistake early in the fight, and I think Mark Juan Americani gets that crazy finish. Probably an Anaconda choke. That's, that seems to be his uh, go-to move. He's going to try for it at least two, three times. We already know that's what he's going to do because he always does. Um, yeah, let me know down, down in the comment section what you guys think is going to happen. And as always, you guys already know. Come on. Come on.